My name is Gal Klein. I'm the CTO and co-founder for Audioburst. Audioburst was established five and a half years ago with the intent to build the largest talk audio repository because we saw great content from radio stations and podcasts just either fade away or unreachable, cannot be shared, cannot be searched anywhere. And we thought that we need to make that content accessible. We need to make short form audio that can be used in order to search for content and share it. Either way, they are on your mobile device or you're driving in your car or you're talking to your Alexa device. Making these short form audio searchable and accessible, this is what we intended to do. Audiverse engages three types of users, creators, publishers, and end users. With creators are the podcasters or the radio stations, the people who are creating this amazing content. Publishers could be web apps, mobile applications, or in-car experience providers, uh, like Alexa or Google or any kind of an application in the car to consume content. And end users are the actual people who are listening to our content, and we need to make sure that the content they're getting is in high quality and matches their needs. When we started Audioburst, the platform of choice was Azure. It had search engines and some media services that looked very attracting to what we did. As we started deploying our microservices on Azure, we used Service Fabric, and then we decided to move to a more stable system like Kubernetes. When we moved that, we started looking at other Kubernetes-supported platform, and that's where we saw AWS, and we saw that it's a much better supportive Kubernetes platform than what we had on Azure. We got an amazing support from AWS to migrate all services from our previous Kubernetes system to AWS, and we find that experience to be amazing. We also find Transcribe, which is an amazing speech-to-text uh, engine that is very good for our live transcription. So we do on-demand transcription for podcast, which we use our own technology. But when we are doing live, we wanted to have a robust system that can help us transcribe 100 streams at the same time at a reasonable cost, but also with high robustness of the platform. And that's why we've integrated and tr used Transcribe to do that. The Audioverse pipeline is built out of transcoding, ASR, extracting audio cues and entities, segmenting, wrapping all the content, and then making that ready for publication. This whole process is built on the AWS Kubernetes pipeline. And there we take each part of that segmentation process that we're doing, the extraction of that content, and running it through that flow. As you can imagine, this pipeline is crucial for Audioverse performance. And we need to make sure that our Kubernetes system is well monitored, well scaled, and up to that challenge. And we found that with the AWS support, we got to that point. Since we finished the migration to AWS, we see improvement in the performance. Things are running faster. We see much more flexibility on scaling. We can scale up and scale down much quicker. And the overall health of the system and our monitoring of the system has improved considerably. And we really appreciate that. The next feature we would like to integrate is Amazon Comprehend. I think the ability to add more functionality to the keywords and entity extraction that we already have will be an amazing addition to our platform. The migration process to AWS was very smooth. AWS gave us a team of real professionals that help us do the migration. So everything was really smooth. Uh, we could start up the whole Kubernetes platform, raise all the services on one hand, stop all services on the other hand, and that allowed a very smooth transition from one platform to the other. So that was really, really cool. And I think that without that help, we might have stumbled and had some issues on the way. And I think that having a, someone on your back you know, that helps you, supports you, and answers all your questions was very important for that type of migration. So as a general feeling, it was an amazing experience.